Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual, here today with Juliet Steele from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group to talk about $139 million of bonds that will be sold by the Southwestern Illinois Development Authority on behalf of the Edwardsville Community Unit School District Number 7. Uh, the bonds will be rated A- uh, as an underlying basis from S&P Global Ratings and uh, will carry a AA rating based on BAM's guarantee. Uh, they'll be underwritten by Stiefel. Thank you for being here today, Juliet. Thanks for having me. So BAM already insures bonds from the school district, about $26 million that were sold back in 2021. Why are they back now? Well, it's actually, if you look at the school district, $26 million of bonds outstanding is relatively small compared to its size. Um, it had The school district had a lot of capital needs and favorably in April of 2023, they had a successful voter referendum authorizing um, many, many school improvements and that's why they're back in the market. And so the two series, the $95 million uh, series A will, refund, will fund those new money improvements. The uh, second series B is about $44 million of refunding that's going to restructure the uh, district's debt service to make it smooth over, over the that's few years. That's absolutely right. So how will the bonds be repaid? Where's the, where are the revenues going to come from? The revenues are ultimately coming from property taxes of the school district, and they're actually secured by an unlimited property tax of the school district. It's a little complicated because they're using a conduit issuer, the Southwestern Illinois Development Authority, but also Ultimately, it's a conduit and um, the payments will be made by the district from property taxes. So from a credit perspective, what do you look at to uh, determine the, the security of the bonds and, and the, the viability of that uh, property tax revenue stream? We look at a lot of different things. We look at the socioeconomic profile. This is a large stable community right outside of St. Louis, stable enrollment. Um, we look at the tax base, the, the size, growth, and diversity. Um, this school district has really favorable metrics as it relates to that. We also look at the debt burden and say, is this something that the district can handle? Um, and last but not least, of course, we do look at their financial operations. Okay, so why is that important? How does that uh, take a look at the, the budget? Why does that matter? You know, you just want to make sure that the district is operating um, at least with break-even operations. The district actually has really turned around their financial performance and fiscal 2022 ended with a surplus and they've been building reserves. And that makes you know, you feel confident that they will be able to manage any hiccups or any, um, I guess, cyclical events, um, but also it gives you confidence that they'll have timely repayment of debt service. Very good. Well, thanks for your uh, insights today, and thanks for watching uh, this, uh, this video about this transaction. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.